Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to Prison Architect. And basically, I kind of messed up the first episode. I did actually do the tutorial in my own defense, but uh, maybe I didn't do it properly. And thanks to your guys' advice, I've actually managed to kind of section off some shells, some shells, some cells, and uh, build a visitation center and a foreman's office and stuff like that. So I'm kind of getting there. Um, I think this is what I have to do because they're all like separate now But for some reason my maximum intake or maximum safe intake is only one I've also stopped the intake of prisoners for the time being just to like, get my Kind of stuff together and get everything working properly got some power got a staff room and all that good stuff And now I've got a foreman. I should actually be able to hire a janitor because the place is looking pretty pretty bad uh, Where is the janitor? Require cleaning. Alright, okay, so let's then go to bureaucracy. Where the hell's cleaning? Clone. Requires a foreman. I've got a foreman. Cleaning. Alright, okay, so it's going to take f more or less six hours to research cleaning. And then I think what I'm going to do is actually. Um, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do actually. Everything looks pretty safe at the moment. Um, it's not an incredible amount of prisoners. In fact, where the. Right, okay. So we've got some awaiting confinement. Not too sure why they're awaiting confinement. Like, why are all the guards outside? Like, hey, that guy's on lockdown. So I take it he'll go to confinement and stuff like that. Um, let's just put all these doors onto normal mode. As you can, keep them open and stuff like that. But I mean, even look at the warden's office. It looks like he's been, like, pooing on the floor or something. Same with the foreman. But hopefully once we get the janitor in, he can kind of clean round or get a couple of janitors in. And stuff like that. We've got 15 prisoners at the moment. It's going alright. What's this guy doing? Right, he's repairing a staff door. Right, no problem. These guys are all swearing at each other, because that's what prisoners do. Fug life and all that. But uh, this game is incredibly addictive. Um, I don't normally do kind of like recommendations on stuff to buy because at the end of the day you know it's completely up to you guys what you're gonna buy but it is uh it's really 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 addictive extremely addictive and uh yeah apparently prisoners try and tunnel out and stuff like that so it should be interesting once you kind of get the hang of the game um but yeah got a few cells at the moment like eight cells in fact i'm gonna build some more i've got an incredible amount of money but you know can always get a loan, I think. I'm not too sure. So let's get some materials and use a concrete wall. And I'll probably be able to build probably one more. Because of this doorway there, but ah, it should be fine. So let's just get the objects in there. Do I actually have to mark this down as a cell? Oh no, I think the whole thing's marked down as cells. Right, okay. Clever boy. <laughs> right, okay. And let's put that there. Let's put a toilet in. So they can shit freely. And I think if you actually dismantle equipment, you see there, I've got 11 beds. So they don't actually cost me any money. Um, I do need to build another cell. And these are just getting marched to mealtime, which, uh, which is pretty good for them. They'll probably get some stuff with some fake fingernails. And I nearly said Ninga fails then. Ninga fails. Alright, let's just open this door so they can all wash properly. There you go. Come on, get in. Get in. And uh, yeah, I've got a lot of workmen. I mean, I could fire them and stuff like that, but I kind of like the idea of them just, you know, being able to, you know, to do what they want and all that good stuff. Just, if I do need stuff building, they could just bounce in and all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty good. All that good shit. So, um, shower thing as well. There's like loads of drainage. I'm not too sure why this keeps flooding. I mean, this is a huge learning curve. I've never actually ran a prison before, believe it or not. Not in real life, anyway. And um, I need to actually connect these pipes over as well. So let's just connect a small pipe to there and that can channel over there, hopefully. I think that should work. If not, I'll have to run it from, from there to there. Hmm, we will see. I don't know why they're always in the holding cells. Like, this is really confusing me. Like, I'm pretty sure that doesn't normally happen in prison. Like, I'm sure you just go to your cell and then you, like, swear at people who are walking past, like, oh, you fucking knobhead, blah, blah, blah. 
Not like, I'll just chill out in the holding cell all day and, and stuff like that. Maybe it's because there's building going on. Like, this guy's in his cell. This guy's in his cell. Hmm. I think I need some kind of, like, infirmary as well. But I don't know if I can actually hire a doctor yet. Um, doctor. Require health. 100 quid? A thousand. 100 quid a day? So a doctor's on the same amount as a guard. Okay. Okay. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Okay, so we've got some fighting going on. People are trying to escape. Uh, I should probably... And that is locked. How come prisoners just walked out of that? Ah, shit. <laughs> Two guys have just escaped. Oh, this is chaos. This is so bad. I'm, I'm doing exceptionally bad at this. Right, I need to demolish these walls as well. Uh, I think I've realised kind of why basically that all the boxes are everywhere. It's because I need a storage area. Um, so I'm just going to build a storage lot outside. As I said, this is a huge learning curve. I've managed to lose two more prisoners, which is uh, which is pretty worrying. Pretty worrying indeed. So once these are demolished, I'll get a storage area going. I think I can hire a janitor now. There we go. Oh, shit. That exceeds my daily budget. All right, I'm going to have to take more prisoners in. All right. Let's get some get some new risk prisoners in, some normal risk prisoners, and uh, we should be all right. But I'm kind of skint. This prison's dying on its ass before it's even started. Um, yeah, I mean it's pretty small. It's like a kind of day prison. I don't know why these guards are just constantly in the yard. I don't know how to assign them tasks and stuff like that. Like, don't let prisoners escape. All these have done is walk around in the yard. Just talking to each other. I mean, look at all this. There's moss and kind of fungus and stuff growing everywhere. It's just... Oh, this is ridiculous. Well, at least use your cells. I've just built them for you. I know this one hasn't got a working toilet, but come on now. It's now a day or so later, and I think I've worked out a few things. I've managed to put some beds in the holding cells. I'm not too sure why my normal cells aren't working. So if any of you guys want to tell me, that would be... That'd be magical, thank you very much. And I've actually changed the solitary door to a jail door, and solitary seems to be working properly now as well. And I've also researched accountancy, so I can get a bank loan. But what I'm going to do first is get this janitor, and let's just plunk him down. So he can start cleaning everything. Look at that guy, what a hero. What a hero. Not that he can actually get through or anything like that. And, um, yeah, it seems to have calmed down all the prisoners to the fact they can actually sleep now. I mean, there are a lot of them, but they can take it in turns of sleeping. That's not really my problem. In fact, you know what, I'll put another bed in there. I feel a bit harsh. Um, let's put that there. Will they sleep next to each other? Maybe I can just, like, just have a shitload of beds, like, you know. Let's just chuck a load in. I've got quite a few spare, so... Still, you know, they can still share one toilet, though, as far as I'm concerned. I don't really give a shit. And, uh, yeah, this one still hasn't got water either. That's a cute job. I'm not too sure why that is. I'm quite baffled at that. So we've got someone in solitary, stuff like that. Now I've got a janitor. I've kind of fired quite a few workmen, as I did have far too many. So I've now only got six. I've got four standard staff. I think that's three chefs, a janitor, two administrators, which is, uh, which is pretty good. And the cash flow is now kind of going up kind of kind of going up so i'm making four grand a day and there's three thousand going out well 4.8 and 3.1 going out which is uh which is all right still not sure why my kind of shared capacity or maximum safe capacity is still at one but we'll just see how this goes over the next few days and uh look at these just tucked up in next to each other and uh, i've also opened it to low risk prisoners um simply I don't know why, just I thought it'd be obviously a lot easier. Uh, these mid-risk ones are a bit of a pain in the arse. See, this guy's in his cell. Why is this guy in his cell and all these aren't in cells? Don't get it. Really don't get it. But um, We will see. Still got enough power, stuff like that. And I need to actually get a parole board as well, I think. Um, so I might have to wait until I get a tiny bit more money and then do that in the next day or so. So I've managed to pass a grant, and I'm not too sure how. Uh, it just shows my skill on this game. Now I've got a uh, accountant, or an accountant rather, and uh, stuff's looking all right. Um, I mean, 
You know, I've closed all the intake off at the moment because I've got a decent kind of plus cash flow of 1.9 thousand, which is uh, which is pretty all right, I suppose. Um, the janitor's now just cleaning up blood, stuff like that. Is this guy injured? Do you know what? I'm going to punish him for being injured. Get to solitary for a day, matey. And, um, yeah, it's looking all right now. Looking all right. I've got 41,000. So, um, grant advance. Oh, shit. Why? What do I have to buy? Cell block A. Right, okay. So, I've just got to increase my capacity to 15. So, if any of you guys can tell me how the fuck to do that, that would be magical. And health and well-being. So I need to build a medical ward and some stuff like that. So let's get cracking building a medical ward. I might be kind of running before I can walk here, but I'm not too sure. So let's just get another... Let's just go concrete, I reckon. Get like a, a little shitty foundation going. That should do, I suppose. 2,000? Yeah, fuck it, that'll be fine. Uh, I can actually demolish this tree and just build its root to there as well. So... Oops. Right, okay, so let's actually just try and demolish this tree. Or dismantle this tree. Okay, and uh, we can then build an entrance behind that tree there. Get some doctors in. Repair some people's bodies. Or mend them or whatever. And, uh, yeah, we'll all be good to go. Ah, uh, shit, prisoner escaping. Fuck off. Where are these going? Injured. Right, you're going to solitary as well, mate. And you're all right, I suppose. Kidnapping. Alex Hackett. What a bastard. What a bastard. But yeah, I don't know why, like, there's one person at a time going in a cell. Is this cut with a solitary for some reason? I thought it was just cells. Solitary 24 hours. Surely you should be in there. That's solitary. Janitor's doing a really good job, though. You know, place looks a lot cleaner. In fact, I'll probably hire another janitor. Just to let's get this shit going. Yeah, let's get two of them on there. That's a, that's a winning situation instantly. We could do with another chef as well, but it doesn't matter for now. I think we can actually sell these logs. Yeah, let's just sell that object so you can get a bit of money off. Like, I could go around just taking trees down and selling logs if I was incredibly tired. Uh, tired? <laughs> incredibly skinned. Um, but, yeah. Wait until this medical ward's done and see where we can go from there. So the medical ward seems to be coming along nicely. Um, I don't know why that staff door's there. I think I've kind of built that a bit wrong. Um, so let's, let's dismantle that and then actually build a staff door on that bit there, just so we can access it properly. We'll go with the jail door. Oh no, we'll go with the staff door. Staff door. Right. Hopefully that will actually build in properly now. And let's have a look at the rooms. What can we actually get? What do we need? Let's have what we need. What do we need? Uh, health and well-being. Okay, so we need a medical ward. That is, that's it. Oh, that's fine. Can I even build a medical ward yet? I don't think I can. Laundry, morgue, kennel, classroom. Kennel? Oh, yeah, you can keep dogs on this. Right, that's pretty cool. Cleaning cupboard. Delivery, storage. Jesus. Am I just not looking in the right place? Do I have to research this, maybe? Right, okay, let's have a look. Health. Ah, right, okay, there we go. So, I need to just research health quickly, get a few doctors going, and all that good stuff. But, I haven't had many escapes recently, I don't think. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, it happened half a day ago, I just wasn't paying attention. But, uh, it's quite a lot of blood. I've got two janitors, just hired a few more workmen again, just to get the job done. And, um... Yeah, kind of getting there. Kind of still don't know what I'm doing. Any advice would be uh, more than appreciated. But, yeah, we will see. <laughs> we will see when this doctor comes along if we can actually build this. Get a shit ton of money. Probably build a far bigger holding cell. Uh, I'll probably delete all this and change it into maybe a parole room or something like that. And build a huge holding cell over here. Just so I can take more prisoners in. I just really can't work out why this is... Uh, I'm a maximum safe capacity, won't go up. It's really, really pissing me off. So I've now got a doctor, which is great, I suppose. And uh, I can now build an infirmary. So I don't know how big this actually needs to be. Let's just go 
Like that. Oh, there's another escapee. Oh, nice. Nice. Interception. Right, fucker, you're going to, uh, going to uh, parole. You're not going on parole for that. You're going on uh, whatever the hell it's called. Um, solitary. Yeah, there we go. Right, okay. So what does this need? This needs a medical bed. Right, I probably built this far too big, but there are a lot of fights in here, as you can tell by all the blood. So it's probably going to be a busy place. Very busy place. Right, let's just do a search. Medical bed. There we go. Oops, Daisy. Right. Okay, so let's just get a few of them. And uh, oh, they've been built like proper skew if, unfortunately. Where the fuck are the rest of the medical beds? Okay, so there. There we go. So, oh my god, I've done it again. Oh fuck it, it doesn't matter. That's fine. That's fine. So let's get the medical beds up. And we need to employ a doctor as well. There we go. Now I've got a doctor, which is all good. And she's going to treat all our guards and prisoners and stuff like that. And I just... Right, in fact, I need to actually delete this door simply because of the fact that... Um, let's dismantle that. I need to put a proper one in because she is going to be treating prisoners. Um, it'd be really stupid to just have like a flimsy wooden door there. So let's get a jail door. Whoa, what the fuck? Right, once that's finished, dismantle it. Just pop that there, and they'll put that in storage. I've got a bit of stuff in storage at the moment, but learning, you know, slowly but surely. Slowly but surely learning. And I should now be able to cash in. Ooh. Two doctors and a psychologist as well. Shit. Right, so I need to get another doctor. These are going to cost an arm and a leg, aren't they? And a grand. That's all right. So I've got two doctors. It's like an episode of ER. Just with, you know, not without George Clooney. Oh, without George Clooney, for fuck's sake, I cannot speak today. Right, so let's get an office for a psychologist. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, I need to research psychology now. Alright, so let's research that. And I'm going to build this fucker an office while I wait. So let's just get some concrete walls. Don't know how big it needs to be. That should do, I think. There we go. Another escapee there. Nothing I can do about it at the moment. I'm just going to like start caring about that once I've got everything in place. I know I should really care about it now, but... Um, yeah, I will do later. I promise. Okay, so let's just get the office. Where is this shit? Well, no one's building an office now. Oh, for fuck's sake! Hey, he's taking the door in. Right, I will build this. After a lot of titting around, I've managed to get my psychologist, and I've now just got a ten thousand pound grant, or ten thousand dollar grant rather, as I'm playing this in America or Australia seems a bit more apt. Look at this shit, cuffed while asleep. What is going on here? Right, okay, I don't want to know. It's like drifting across and just bombing them all in the sleep, which I suppose is fine. That's prison behaviour. And uh, yeah, did pretty well today. I need to solve some issues with capacity. And again, I will say it again. If anyone knows the answer to this question, I'm being incredibly stupid. But well, um, if you can help me, that'd be fantastic. But I uh, got an infirmary, got some more stuff, got a fuck ton of money now as well, which is uh, which is really nice. So uh, all I've got to do is increase my capacity to 15, and I get another 20 grand as well, which is uh which is awesome and then I can then build a huge holding cell and everyone can be happy maybe I'm not, not not too sure but you never know you never know but anyway guys thanks for watching hopefully I will get stuff sorted again if anyone knows any answers to these questions please let me know and uh, I will see you soon